Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, it's been a couple of days since I put out a video. I haven't felt much like doing videos uh, here the last week or so. Um, my back is still out. I think I posted a video uh, about a week ago or so that I was having tr uh, trouble. Um, I've had trouble since I was 25, but uh, I have periods where it really goes out and I'm in that period of time. So I've been to the chiropractor three times now. I go back tomorrow for uh, my fourth. I've had everything from the common adjustments to a dry needling today and I get decompression tomorrow and so if I look a little tired, a little worn down, a little not glowy, it's because I'm pretty ran down. <laughs> but that's just a small update. Here's what we're all here for. I got something in the mail today, finally, pretty much three months after its initial supposed release date. All this coronavirus mess, throwing things off with Amazon. Guys, today I got my TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Yay! Huh? Now, I don't know how many of you had one of these when they first came out many, many moons ago. I had one. I don't believe that I got mine on release, uh, but I got it not long after, and I'm, I bought it myself. And I was one of the only people I knew in school that had one. So... Not many people had these. They're not as common as your Nintendos and your Segas. So, I had this very thing. Uh, I probably sold it. Took it to the pawn shop. Whatever. You know how you do things. Just like I did with all my systems. Sold them all like a dummy. Only original one I have still is my original Xbox. From 2001. So, let's open this up and see what we got. This video is nothing new. They're all on YouTube already. A lot of people got theirs. But, you know, um, it's the way it goes sometimes, right? Let's see if I can open this up without boogering it up too much. I think what it is, is the whenever you pre-ordered from Amazon, that we're the ones that got screwed with you know, holding on to our orders for so long. And uh, I think other people ordered them from uh, another site online uh, from overseas um, where uh, they sold the PC engine, which is the Japanese version of Turbo Graphics. And uh, they got theirs a long time ago. So, anyway. Nice little box. Lots of games. You have your TurboGrafx-16 games. And then you have your PC Engine games that they put on here. PC Engine, of course, is Japanese. Some of these games you'll need to be able to read text. Some of them you won't. Uh, I really don't like that. I wish they would have just put a, you know, a, a, a bunch of the American releases on here. I don't know why they did this. But... It is what it is. My only real main downer about this is the fact that m probably most of the games on here are shooters like Galaxian or whatever, R type, uh, you know, those space type shooters, whether it's vertical or horizontal. Uh, there's a lot of those. On here and I'm not into those don't like them never have I'll never play them just don't like them and what's cool about this is this is pretty much exactly identical to the original TurboGrafx-16 controller 
It also has your rapid fire options over here built in. The PC Engine version does not. Yep. And I never had a lot of games for this system. I probably only had three games that I that I can even imagine having. Uh, the main game that I had was Bunk's Revenge, and that's and I might have had three games. I just don't know what else I had. Uh, I beat Bunk's Revenge way back in the day. Fun little game. I believe it's on here. Um, I could be wrong, but. I believe the uh, I thought that they were both on here. I thought we got the American version and there's Bunk's Revenge. And then I think we have but I think it's called something else. I don't even know. But I think it's on the PC Engine one that we get the first one. But I'll dig into that and see. You would think that would be right there in your face. Because it's a pretty popular title. And it probably is. I'm probably just not seeing it. It's probably that. I don't know. Super blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. And it's got Splatterhouse. Which a lot of people love. For whatever reason. It's. It's kind of a slow game to me. It's not all that fun. I've played it. Been there. Done it. We do have HDMI. We do have the USB to mini, micro, whatever you want to call it. They don't have the brick. So... Hopefully you got a brick laying around, or you're going to have a brick laying around, not able to play. <laughs> so, that's it. Now let's check out the console. Well, it's pretty much identical to the the original again this is nothing new you guys have probably seen these online already it even comes with the cover to cover up the stuff I never understood that why they did that whatever it even has this is your power button it even has the little locking mechanism whenever you slide the card in like on the original if you got the game they came on like little cards. Put the card in, and it has that little thing that locks it in. So they even went so far as to do that. That's pretty cool. What I don't like about this build is it's big. I mean, is it smaller than the original TurboGrafx-16? Yes. But not by as much as some of these other ones, I don't think. Um... I have a spot on my desk here. I was hoping that it would fit. Let me show you. Got all my little minis down here. And that was my chair. <laughs> it does that all the time. It always sounds like I'm pooping. I was hoping it was going to fit right here. And if it was the size of these, it would have squeezed in there pretty good. But it's not going to fit there. So I'll have to figure something else out. Supposedly there's a trick to getting this off of here. I don't know if I want to... Yeeks, got it. That was easy. Okay, so we got HDMI right there, and then the power goes in there. Yeah, they kind of overcomplicated it. 
to keep it looking real. It says AC adapter. It has an arrow here. Oh, I see. They want you to feed the wire in. They want you to feed the wire in through here, maybe, and I don't know. Just seems like, it seems like a lot of trouble to go through to do that. You know? Boy. Big old console, though. Yeah, it clips right back on. All you gotta do is take this right here. See that little lip? And just pop it like that. It clicks into that right there. Okay. Easy enough. All right. Anyways, guys, I was just doing a little unboxing. Uh, I'll upload another video with a little bit of gameplay, just messing around on it a little bit. Of course, I don't take any any of my gaming serious, so I'm not going to be doing any serious gaming on here. Nothing super serious anymore, guys. Too old for all that. I ain't got time for that. You know? So, I may not even use these because I have so many that I'll just get it done. Anyways, guys, hope you appreciate the little unboxing. I just thought I would show you everything in the box, how it comes. That's the first time I opened it. And uh, I was waiting to be able to show you guys. So I hope to be able to get out and do more videos. Uh, I'm really feeling down right now, but uh, I'm trying to stay positive, guys. If you would, just think about me trying to send some good vibes my way. I could use them right now. <clears throat> On my back. There gum, it hurts. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you later. Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, because right now, Mikey Sim can't. We'll see y'all later. Go play your game or something, all right? Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!